Hey, y'all doing? I'm Justin Waldo. I'm from Benton, Arkansas. Today, we're going to go over some very beautiful life giving. It's how to see the true powers of the Holy Spirit's voice and not just Him. Today, we're going to go over the threes and fours, go in sequence together in season, if you will, to show you how the worlds were framed by the Word of God. So there's no author confusion like there was yesterday. A man didn't understand the signs part of the video. So we're going to show y'all and get bear witness to the Holy Spirit and how to grow with the Holy Spirit. Genesis 1.26. If you go to Genesis 1.26. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It says, Then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness so all the worlds were framed by the word of god which is the father the son and the holy ghost and those three make one and it says genesis 126 then god said let us make man in our image according to our likeness and that's exactly what you're about to see here today they made it in our image he says you see Everything's made in the likeness image of the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, Trinity. Three names make one body. If you go back here, bear witness to the Holy Spirit now. We're growing with the Word of God. 1 John 5, 7, you see how fast he flipped to it. No wind blowing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For there are three that bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. So that's exactly what you're about to see here. It says, let us make man in our image, in our likeness. That's what you're seeing there. Genesis 1.26, let us make man in our image, in our likeness. Three names make one body. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Or in 1 John 5, 7, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. That's exactly what you're seeing there, guys. You're seeing Hebrews 11.3 right here in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It says, bear witness to the Holy Spirit. By faith we understand that the worlds with an S were framed by the Word of God so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. And today, guys, we're going to show you all the threes and fours go to sequence and season together, if you will and show you how the worlds were framed by the Word of God, how everything is made in the likeness image of them. And let us make man in our image in, according to our likeness. See, the worlds were framed by the Word of God. Everything's made in the likeness image of them. Okay, guys, so you always go in sequence. You say the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. You wouldn't say the Son, the Father, the Holy Ghost. So you always start with three first, okay? In this season that we're going in, you start with one first, but right now we're on three and fours. So like four cell or dead in, or your phone number is 501-672. The third option has the four number digits in it. Why? Because the threes and fours go in season. But we start always in the Bible first because that's where it began and that's where it always started. So all the way back to the Garden of Eden, God, G-O-D, knew that man, M-A-N, and Eve, E-V-E, -E, would sin, S-I-N. So he sent his son, S-O-N, on the cross, which is one, two, and the Savior makes three. Three nails that hung him, three names above him. He rose on the third day. He went through life, death, and resurrection. He preached the gospel for three years, and he got crucified at the age 33. So from direction, from God in the Garden of Eden, when it was God, Adam, and Eve, but when God stepped away, it was Adam, Eve, and the serpent. From that point all the way to the point of Jesus Christ's cross, direction is three in the Bible. From board to board, from generation to generation, generation to Justin Waddle, from the dumb donkey to the man and woman seeing this video. That's exactly what we're doing right now. Direction. See, the men in the Bible, Justin Waddle, the person watching, directed from God. That's who that is. Direction from God. I promise you, every single time never fails. John, James, and Peter went to the mountain to see Elijah, Moses, and Jesus, and they asked them to build three great tabernacles. See, well, love, hope, and faith, uh, hope, faith, and charity are the greatest of these three, but, the, but charity is the greatest of these three. See, three means direction. 
Every single time you receive three in your life, it is direction from God. Jonah was thrown over the boat into the belly of the fish and then to dry land. Dry land. He reached dry land. Threes and fours go together in chapter three. See? He was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. It took him three days to go to Nineveh, guys. God never changes. He only changes the fours. Which four means change to God. We call them four, but he calls it change. So if we call it three, he calls it direction. So if you see three in the Bible as direction, Joshua took three days to cross the Jordan. But obviously, every single time you receive fours in your life, it's going to change you. Okay? Like in, Gal in Galatians 5, 22 and 23, the fourth option of, of the nine fruit is long suffering. Because long suffering changes you. Proverbs 20, 30, blows that hurt, cleans away evil, as do stripes in inner depths of the heart. Now you're going to see the threes and fours go in sync with better and season together in the fours than you will of the threes because you have to have three bad things and the fourth thing changes you. For instance, you, are, you always have to have, you wouldn't throw your seed, S-E-E-D, S -E -E -D, amongst the wayside or the, or the stony ground or the thorns, but you wouldn't put it amongst the good ground, G-O-O-D, ground, and it's the fourth option. Just like Jesus had a lot of threes in his scenario, the good, the fours go with fours. So you wouldn't throw your seed amongst the, 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 the wayside or the stony ground or the thorns, but you wouldn't put it amongst the G-O-O-D, fourth option, good ground. See, fours go with fours. Or Lazarus was D-E-A-D, dead for three days, and, he, and, and Mary Martha was waiting on Jesus to raise him from the dead. See, on that third day, three days dead, he rose up on the fourth day as resurrection, and he changed back to being alive. Job's three friends, men, Job's three men, M-E-N, friends, and his wife changed, <laughs> three men and a woman changed, M-E-N, W-I-F-E, that changes, and then you got three men and a wife trying to change J-O-B into a sinner. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for remembrance, bringing back remembrance to me in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior. But thank you, Father, that I fall short the glory of God. For the man who was confused yesterday on the road sign part, we're here to show you in compare and contrast on this channel that how the things in the Bible happened in the Bible days, just like it still does to this day. He never changes. He just changes the four seasons, you see. Okay, you got to stop looking at that as a B-O-O-K book. Okay? It's not a book. you got to change your perspective of your mind and see it as living water from generation to generation. Daniel's three friends got tipped to three times in chapter 3, and they got to walk out of the fire with a fourth looking like the Son of God because they changed. They didn't bat a bell. Threes and fours go together in a season, in a sequence. And because of those four men walking out of the fire, it changed Nebuchadnezzar's whole perspective of living. He got the true powers of the Holy Spirit by doing that. See, it changed him. And these are the signs and wonders that we're going over today for the man who didn't understand what's going on. On the, on the sign yesterday, the buy here, sell here. See, that's exactly what we're seeing, guys. We're seeing the true powers of the Holy Spirit conform to all these people's minds in the beautiful testimony we call a book. It's really a Bible. It's really a living testimony of Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior. You understand? Every single scenario, every single sequence lines out. Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. That's three names make one body. Justin Scooter Waddles, three names that make one body. My head and torso and my legs are three names that make one body. You see? Every time you get closer to God, and the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost directs into your heart, okay, and it fills it up with milk and honey, that's when you become in Godhead with God. And the fourth option, you change. Job 5.18 for he bruises, but he binds up, and he wounds, but his hands make whole. You're going to have three bad things to change you every single time because of that scripture right there. Okay, 1 Corinthians 13 and 11, when I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child, I acted like a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. You see? That's exactly what you're seeing. I changed into a man on the fourth option. And that's what he showed me how to do. I put away childish things. See? He never changes. 
He only changes the four seasons. Okay. Well, today we're going to show y'all the compare and contrast of how you see Ezekiel the priest, the son of Uzzah. If you go to Ezekiel chapter one, bear witness to the Holy Spirit now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, help us get there. Thank you. See, I was failing and I asked him for help. That's all he asks you to do. He don't ask you to. He doesn't ask you to succeed. He asks you to just try. Get out of the boat. Get out of the boat, Peter. Stop running, Jonah. He just wants you to try. And when you fall short to glory of God, if you ask him to do it, he will do it for you. Now, this is what we're learning today. <coughs> Bear witness, y'all. Ezekiel the priest. This is Ezekiel chapter 1, verses 3. Ezekiel the priest, who? The son of Buzah. Now, you wouldn't know who Ezekiel the priest was back then unless you knew his lineage. Okay, so that's how you knew a man. So Ezekiel the priest, who actually know who he is? The son of Buzah. It's how you know who he is for sure. In between commas, it doesn't matter if it's uh, if it's three, verse three, three people, three places, three things, <laughs> people, places, things, it don't matter what it is. Three means direction in the Bible. So Ezekiel the priest is who is directing you to. Ezekiel the priest, right? Who is he? The son of Buzza. Now do you see how B-U-Z-I Force go with force. Okay, well, who is he? He's Ezekiel the priest. Who is that guy? The son of Buzza. Now you know exactly who Ezekiel the priest is, and it completes you because you know the whole picture. Okay? Booyah! Hallelujah! Who is this? Ezekiel the priest? Who is that? The son of Buzza. <laughs> And it's Lord Almighty. And it's all powerful. It's uncorruptible. It's an imperishable crown. Do you not realize this is what this is? You're seeing the true powers of the Holy Spirit conform to who? Welcome to Benton, home of the Panthers. Who? Ezekiel the priest. Who's that? The son of Buzo. <laughs> you see how powerful God is? He never changes. He's uncorruptible, guys. Imperishable. Generation to generation to generation to generation to Justin Waddle to y'all. Now, it's up to y'all to get your talent. Go out and get five more talents. I'm just Paul Planting. You have to be Apollo's water for God to give the increase. So I ask and urge y'all to please jump on board. Please subscribe at the bottom. Please like and share. Uh, I apologize to the man yesterday if I was all over the place and I made an author confusion. And he didn't understand the sign part. We're learning and comparing and contrasting on this channel to show people how God is everything. And when you start to see God as everything, you'll stop wanting to see the world because the world won't matter no more. Because God is literally everything. And he, it says, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. He didn't just stop with human beings. The worlds were framed by the Word of God. The Word of God is every word because the Word of God is everything. That's exactly what you're seeing. Left lane ends, that's three words. Left lane ends, it's four, four, four. Threes and fours go together. <laughs> See how that works? My birthday is 02, 04, 1984. The third section is the four numbers. It never changes. God never changes. It says what? Road, work, 1,500 feet. Three sections. Road is four letters. Work is four letters. 1,500 is four numbers. And feet is four letters. But it has to be cut in two so that way it won't get out of God's perfect order for direction. Three for direction. Four for change. And that means change road up ahead. Road, work, 1,500 feet. That's direction to change. Y'all have a good day. God bless you.